Hi and welcome to the software setup intro. Now I'm going to show you how to create a Unity ID first and then we'll take it a few steps further. First, what I would like you to do to obtain a Unity ID, you will have to go to unity3d.com website And when you get there, click and download. You can continue clicking download, but you will eventually have to create an account if you don't have one. So if we click on this icon, avatar, there, you will be able to create a Unity ID if you don't have one already, or you can sign in if you already have one. So when you click on the Create a Unity ID, you will have to fill this out with your student ID. You can change that later. That's not a big issue. And then create the Unity ID. Confirm your email, etc., etc. And then you can come back here and you will be able to sign in. Sign in with your email. Now you are able to download Unity. The there are two ways of downloading Uni Unity. You can download directly the version that you're after, but the better way would be going through the Unity Hub. So let's download the Hub first. Well, you have the options for other operating systems, which is more or less the same experience of downloading and installing it. It's not a big file, so it will download quite quickly and then we will open it agree installing program files of change or change the location of the install wait a bit and here we go there it is it is installed now we'll, i will have to sign in the best way to sign in is just using the already account that you've created through the browser there it is is asking me to open the unity hub through account and here we are got it skip this step because we are going to install the unity editor manually all right so if i go to install click on install editor and go to archive click on the download archive and it will take you to a website and these are all releases of Unity. So what are we after is Unity 2022.3.15 F1. So we scroll all the way down. So there it is. Unity 2022.3.15 and 1. So you can download it directly, as I said before, but you can we can use the Unity Hub, which is way more streamlined experience. So 2022.3.15 F1. Open it. One thing that is very important here is to install this, which is Microsoft Visual Studio Community, but also Android support. You will need this for the headsets or for the Android phones. If you're on a Mac, you can also install iOS build support. Now we can click continue. To the terms and the conditions, agree to more terms and conditions, and install. Now this install, you, it will take a while. Unity is quite a big software. So at one point during the installation, the installation will stop and it will ask you to install Visual Studio, which is integral part of the Unity experience. And we usually use it to code. Well, hopefully you're not going to be using it that much this trimester, but this takes a little while to install to download and install. So a little bit of patience here wouldn't hurt. Now just choose install and plow through all these. Make sure that you tick off that start after installation checkbox because we don't want this to start after the installation. Okay, it's all done. Just close it and you can see now the Unity 2022.3.15 F1 is installed, which is amazing. So 
what should we do next? Well, we can create a project which comes in the next video.